Okay. What is it exactly that uh, touched you so much uh, in, in the, the problem of homelessness? Why are you doing this, this entire march, this, this really big walk? Well, to, uh, I, for me personally, uh, guys, um, I believe that there are several things that every human is born with the right to. Uh, these things are food, water, education, and shelter. Uh, now we can't tackle every issue on earth. For me, uh, and I think these guys disagree, but they'll obviously give you their opinion. Um, our world is uh, experiencing quite a lot of illness at the moment. We see it all around. Uh, a lot of our societies, two thirds of our human family live below the poverty line. Um, but we can't attack every issue that is kind of symptomatic of the big problems. So we focus on one at a time and we're focusing on homelessness because we're in Western Europe and this is meant to be uh, the, the epitome of the civilized world and we still have major issues with homelessness. So um, also I spent a bit of time uh, in Dublin recently and I was really affected there by uh, firstly the abundance of people who sleep rough, who have no money uh, and who uh, are excluded from society and to see them approach people time after time after time and people just put up this wall against them. Yeah. Uh, a lot of our societies or a lot of us, we, um, when we're faced with an issue that we can't do anything about, our natural reaction is to ignore it because what else can we do? So that's uh, for me personally. Um, yeah, I think Joe summed up a lot of my points as well. Um, uh, we have this big idea, the Mikkel Hera, and uh, we are trying to tackle different social ex aspects um, around the globe, eventually, of course. So we started with the most basic one, um, of homelessness. And what I'd like to um, you know, be able to bring people's attention to, a lot of people have this um, misconception that you know, homeless people, they're, um, they're lazy, they're just bummed, there's that whole, oh, why don't you just go get a job, you bum, you know, go and work like the rest of us. Um, you know, we're all creatures of circumstance, and a lot of the people out on the street, you know, they didn't choose to be out there. They're out there because, you know, they just got dealt a bad hand, and they've had to play it out. So, you know, it's not people's fault, and uh, you know, we're all part of the same human family. And if we can get people, you know, looking at someone a little bit differently, realizing that we're all the same instead of all separate, um, that for me would be a really, really big step. Yeah, I think uh, maybe to add up to what these guys have said, um, obviously most of us realize that um, something, maybe trying to look a bit of the bigger picture, like something in the system is not working, the system has failed uh, society. Um, this obviously is generating a lot of difference between uh, poor people and rich people. We've obviously seen it between like the first world and the third world. That's been clear since uh, much or a long time ago. But now we're, we're seeing it every day in our life to uh, day to day uh, life in the first world. We are in Western Europe, um, and like that that difference between poor people and rich people is just getting uh, further apart, and uh, even more so with the economic crisis right now. Um, and it's just not. I don't think it's fair a system that can generate this type of uh, uh, division between the people because at the end it's what just Mason said, you know, if it's not your fault if you get dealt a bad hand um, and there should be something done about it. Uh, so, you know, if we can, we can maybe tackle this issue and obviously like one of these bad hands uh, can obviously lead to homelessness. Um, so we, we will or we are trying to, to tackle this issue and just trying to raise awareness uh, so people don't forget, people don't look at somewhere else just because it's, it's uh, uncomfortable to look at. So. And just if I can add one thing to that as well, um, is that we've all been very fortunate in our lives. We've all, the three of us, we haven't been dealt bad hands. We have been brought up in very good environments. We've been given good education. And a lot of the time you hear um, when people are born into a good circumstance, um, it's not their responsibility to help out people who aren't. And yeah. I kind of feel the other way. I believe like if you are lucky enough to have been born into a world where you've uh, had a family, where you've been fed, where you've been watered, where you've had shelter all your life, um, we, as we keep saying, we are part of the same family. Let's look after those of us who 
are suffering and who aren't as lucky as us. I feel that's my obligation, that's my duty. Uh, I think you guys feel the same. And so that's really... Um, Your yeah. gifts are also a responsibility yeah. to put in a, yeah. in a yeah. certain way. Exactly. So. So. Thanks, uh, thanks, Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you and uh, good luck with this See March. you out there, guys. See Come you. and join us. Yeah. Follow us, like us, give us these. We love you all. <laughs>